Welcome to your Osan Tumor Report. I'm Senior Airman Amy Sly. The link between being injured on the front line and being evacuated is combat support hospitals. Whether evacuating or repairing, caches take care of people. Senior Airman Patrick Kilgore shows us how this Army team at USAG Humphreys stays ready for whatever happens. We try to organize chaos. There's nothing more chaotic than a hospital during wartime. Soldiers at USAG Humphreys Combat Support Hospital show us how they turn this disorder into a well-oiled machine. We um, can take up to 12 patients. We have, well, we have a crash cart here that has our defibrillator on it. The cache is a bridge to the forward battalion aid stations. When soldiers are injured in combat, they are medevac to the 121st cache. There, they are then evacuated out a theater. In addition to evacuating injured personnel, the cache does all the tasks of a fixed hospital. Today, soldiers test the readiness of the cache. They are showing their stuff. Facing fictional scenarios, this team proves that they are up to the challenge. Next set, I'll head in next break, so. It normally takes three days to have a cache up and running. But this team of motivated medical professionals got this cash functional 24 hours ahead of schedule. Senior Airman Patrick Kilgore, USAG Humphreys, Korea.